Hi guys, it's John here, and today we're gonna to be going through applying our license to our SC Prime storage providers. So as you know, I have got a couple of providers. I've got a Windows one and a Linux one, and you can now actually apply the licensing by just following a few steps. So we're going to actually go through that now and get ourselves signed up and get our licenses attached. So they have now updated the SC Prime documentation and it does show you the six steps you need to do to actually get your license attached. So if you haven't actually purchased a license, then you can still do so. You just scroll at the top and buy one from the store. But basically, assuming you have already purchased one, we're just gonna go through the steps now to get it attached to our provider and then get the additional data that will be coming through the SE Prime network for those who are licensed. The first thing we're gonna do is go to the xapro.net website here. It's console.xapro.net. And what we're gonna do is actually create an account. So as it says here, just make sure the account you create has the same email address as the one that you signed up with to purchase your license from the XA Minus site. So that's so they can actually obviously make a link between your account and your purchase. So I'm gonna do that now. I haven't created an account yet, so I'm going to click register here. Okay, we're gonna pop in our details. And once you've done that, you have to confirm your email address. So go to your inbox and we'll do that now. So here we are, we'll have the link here that we need to click on just to verify. And we can see we've got a nice little welcome here. So this is the XANet services site that we're now logged into. Okay, so I've gone onto the licenses section here and you can see it's telling you exactly what you need to do. So it's saying in order to link your provider to your license key, you need to provide the provider ID. So that can be done by running dot slash SPC host on Linux or just SPC host on Windows. And then you'll then get your provider ID, something along the lines of this here. So once you've got that, we're gonna be putting that against our license and then hopefully that'll link it up and get it up and running. Okay, so I am on my Windows provider now and I am in my SE Prime folder here. So this is where my SPD and SPC are currently sitting. If you followed my previous video, your software may be on the P drive in P SC Prime. So wherever you go to do an SPC, basically go into that folder and we're gonna get our provider ID. So on Windows, SPC host. And you can see here the provider ID. So I'm going to select this, make sure there's no spaces on the end. I'm gonna press enter and we're just gonna put this into notepad. Okay, so we have got and confirmed, there's no white space or anything on the uh, provider ID here for my Windows box. So I'm gonna stick this on the one here at the top. So I'm gonna type that in. And it's confirming the provider. We found the following details for the given provider ID. Please confirm these match your provider. So just to make sure you're not accidentally doing it on the wrong one. And this is my Windows one. It's only got a terabyte I'm sharing at the moment. So you're gonna click yes to confirm it matches. And we can see here the success message at the top and our provider ID is now linked. So we're gonna do the same in our Linux host. So we're gonna load up Putty. I'm just gonna log in and just sudo su. Okay, now don't forget we're gonna to go to cd slash mount slash sc prime current version because this is where our SPC and SPD are. So we're gonna do a dot slash SPC host. And this is our storage provider here. So let's select the text. And in putty, you don't need to do anything else. It's already copied it into the clipboard, but we're gonna put it into notepad as well. So let's delete the old one and paste the new one in, make sure that matches. It looks good to me. So there's no white space at the end. So I'm gonna copy that again and just pop that into our second license here. Just give that a second to detect it. And it's found the correct provider here with the correct amount of storage. So we're gonna click yes on that and get that linked up. Okay, so both of my providers are now successfully linked up with my licenses that I bought. I just bought the basic ones here for $99 each and I should get the rebate over the next six months in the form of SCP coins. So what we're really waiting for now is the next update to the software and that will be setting our pricing structure automatically. It will be doing our announcing automatically as well. So we can actually decommission some things that we're using currently such as the duck dns system we won't need to use that anymore once spc is announcing itself to the outside world so there are some additional things we can do to clean up once we get that later version so i'll be sure to make another video showing you how you can do that 
So you can see here, this is going to be the difference between, or the potential difference between the licensed and unlicensed providers. So you can see the amount of data that the unlicensed providers will have shared out amongst them compared to the licensed ones. So in theory, yes, you should get more data if you have a licensed provider than an unlicensed provider. Obviously time will tell how things go in the future, but I'd say in the next sort of six to 12 months, we should start seeing our providers picking up the pace. We'll see how it goes over the next few months. Do let me know if you have any questions down below and if you have any trouble getting yours set up or your license added, it's pretty simple to be honest. It's not, uh, it's not difficult and uh, it's quite a nice little walk through on the site as you do it as well. So that's a, a nice little system that they've built there. But yeah, hopefully this video was useful. If it was just to remind you that you can now do this, I think it's been up for a few days, the ability to link your license. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.